Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 1998 Ford E-Series side entry mobility van. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. You got your doors open up here, they're manual doors. You got a lift in here. You got a little switch on here. The switch has to be switched on towards you. You hit to get the down, you hit deploy. It's two stages. The right side brings the lift down. The left side puts it up. So once we get stopped here, we now hit the down arrow, second stage. The lift will come to the ground. You can also operate the lift right there with that toggle switch. Sometimes you gotta get a little push right here. Just barely do it, but it works fine. And then come inside the van, load up your wheelchair. 30 inch wide lift. 47 inches deep 63 inches of room coming inside the door and then 67 once you're inside the van 800 pound weight capacity has the BMI lift on it so if you're looking for an affordable vehicle with a lot of headroom this might be the van for you this is super clean inside it was commercially owned look how clean this interior is got the rear vents back here the old cabinets an old conversion van but man they took great care of it got the upgraded tie downs Make life easy on you. If the ramp, if the lift ever does falter, you can use the uh, manual operation switches here and jack this up manually. No, it's not fun, but it's better than being stuck. So, when you're not using the lift, always make sure you turn it off. Push it back. I'm gonna turn it on to get that lift back up. But this, in, this uh, interior is immaculate for the age. I mean, someone's taking great care of this van. Do you have a little spider there in the windshield? Um, we're not trying to make this van perfect. I'm trying to keep it at a budget to keep for people under ten thousand. I know under ten thousand dollar mobility vehicles are hard to find, especially in this good of shape. Yeah, it's older. It's only got ninety two thousand miles on it. I'll show you the Carfax here in just a second. Ninety two thousand original miles. So when you got everybody secure, <clears throat> come back out. And like I said, you can operate the lift right here. And get up to this point. After the first stage, and then we can uh, hit the stow left side and put it back. The lift has worked great every time we use it. We actually had it serviced over at Candace Truck, who's a VMI dealer. Remember to turn that off so you don't run down your battery. Give the doors a good slam, and you're ready to roll. Tinted windows in the rear. It's got the steel wheels, our tires, to be honest with you, they're older. They're on the borderline of needing replaced. The reason I don't replace these, a lot of our economy vans, people say, I'm just using it to get mom back and forth to the doctor in town. I'm never gonna drive it out of town. Little dent right there. But so instead of me putting six, $800 in tires on this and have to raise the price six, six or $800, I leave it up to the buyer. So if we're getting around town, this would be a great vehicle, great tires. If you're looking to take this thing on a road trip, yeah, I would definitely recommend replacing the tires, and I can get that done at an affordable price for you, but that will come on your dime. But the uh, exterior on this van is very clean. I did show you the, the dent down there at the bottom, but it's been very well taken care of. Uh, we actually bought this from a commercial company and uh, drove it back over 200 miles from Oklahoma. It was down in Oklahoma last. We know it has been road tested. There's a dent there in the bumper. It has been road tested, and then once we had it back on the, from the road, we then had our mechanics inspect it. Got your spare tire there. They then inspected it and uh, took it on their own road test. This will fold out into a bed here. It's an awesome op option, option if you, someone wants to do some traveling, get around a little bit. And we always show you the VIN number. Make sure you get a video of the VIN number if you're going to buy sight unseen. Make sure you see this on the side of the door, side of the, the, of the van. That means the vehicle's here in my possession. This is not some internet scam. What we do with that VIN number, do a Carfax on every one of our vehicles. You can see two owners, no accidents or damage, has some service records as we scroll down. Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title, just two owners, no accidents. Never had structural damage, airbags have never been deployed, odometer checks out accurate. No accidents or damage and no open recalls. As we scroll down, you can see the vehicle spent most of its life in Texas. And nice salt rust free Oklahoma is where we pulled it out from. So, been down south, 
So you finished up in Oklahoma there. And no matter who you do business with, look them up online, check out their reviews. Find us on eBay, 1,227 transactions. All 1,227 people left us positive feedback. That's 100% positive feedback. And no matter who you do business with, find them online. Make sure they're a real company. Make sure you're not getting scammed. You can find us on Google. You can see we are here in Wichita, Kansas. We've got 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. I have people all the time telling me about how they bought a mobility van. They paid way too much. Had a bunch of issues. They got a lemon. And I look up those dealers online or I know who they are. And they've got 1 and 2 star ratings. You know, all, all throughout their ratings. You know, if you want to do business with people like that. Or you want to buy from a private individual you know nothing about. Then be careful and, and good luck because you're probably going to need it. If you want five-star service with five-star vans from a company that's been in business over a decade, give me a call. Okay, back to the interior of the van. We got a handful of keys on here. This interior is just—it's it's really nice condition. Got your step up here. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in here. Like I showed you earlier, the dash looks great. I know you've already seen back here, but I'm just giving you a little different perspective from the front angle. And when I go to turn the van on. Fires right up. There's no dummy lights on. There's no check engine light, no airbag, no ABS lights. It's even got the rear air controls. I've got the three mechanics that work for me. We tested all the power mirrors, the power windows, the power locks, the heat, the air, the cruise, belts, suspensions, steering hoses. You can see that mirror works there. You can see that mirror over there moving. That window works there. I mean, this thing's for a 1998. Look how clean this thing is. I am so impressed with this van. Uh, if you want to, uh, let me pop the hood here so we can listen to it run. Underneath the hood is a 4.6 V6 V8 engine. Idles smoothly, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. Engine sounds great. Now to crawl underneath the van, you can see there's no signs of any bent metal from an accident. There's no signs of any leaks, any oil leaks or anything like that. Might be a little bit of seepage here and there, to be expected, but no drips or anything like that. Um, no signs of any rust from being in a flood or being up north. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy a used vehicle. They just assume things. They assume because uh, it looks good in pictures. They assume because the salesman's nice to them. They assume it runs and drives good. They assume the conversion works good. They assume it's not all rusted out. And I tell you what, go check out my competition. Go look at the pictures and the videos. Uh, do they have, do they show you a Carfax report? Do they show you the reputation so you know who you're buying from? Do they show you get on my hands and knees and show you the undercarriage so you can see it's not been in a bad accident so you can see that it's uh, not been in a flood or rusted out or anything like that so do four things demand a detailed video like this demand a Carfax report get online find out who you're buying from buy from a reputable dealer uh, if you do anything other than that it is super risky and lastly demand a warranty our van comes with a 90 day 3,000 mile drivetrain plus warranty you go to any shop in the United States but we stand behind our product, we offer a 90 day warranty. Do not risk buying. Hey, one thing on this van before I take the test drive. The belts are all in good shape. It's got a little squeak. And you know, if you want to put all new pulleys on here, we can on your dime. It's full, full disclosure. 25 year old van, runs and drives great, but I wanted to let you know about it. You can hear that little tiny squeak in there, so that's up to you, but it'll be on your dime. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas, so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether we help you arrange affordable shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states, or if you come in and drive this Ford home, we've done our due diligence, we've made sure that it's roadworthy, Let's see if I can pop it up to about 70 miles an hour here, traffic, if traffic allows. And as you can see, as I accelerate the steering wheels, Nice and straight, no unusual vibration or noise in the steering wheel. Definitely not a hot rod, we're going uphill here, but uh, let me give it some gas. I'll floor it there so we can. Yeah, I got up to about 62 miles an hour. And as far as as far as I can see, the cruise control does not work on this van. Probably either a switch. Uh, we have not diagnosed it again. 25 year old van, we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. So if you want us to dig into the cruise control, add it to the value, of the, add it to the price of the van. Uh, we're not trying to sell a perfect van. We're just trying to sell a good running mechanical van. 
you want to start add, doing add-ons to it to make it nicer, uh, either we can or you can. But full disclosure, I'm being honest with you about the vehicle. Uh, like I mentioned, it does have a 90-day warranty. We can buy longer-term warranties that cover not only the van, but also the conversion. That's a great idea. We highly recommend those because of the conversion. The ramp does go bad. They can be very expensive to work on. And also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers have a real nice price online. Uh, but they don't tell you, they, they hide it in the fine print or that it comes time to close the deal. They have $500 administrative fees, document fees, tag fees, uh, freight, uh, you know, all those kinds of hidden fees. So we don't have any hidden fees. Um, be aware of that when you're out shopping, be sure to ask about hidden fees before you buy. Sometimes those fees get up to $1,000, $1,500 in hidden fees. So uh, my question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, they've got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money on you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know. I just know transparency is key. If someone's not being straight up and honest from the get-go, there's a really good chance there's other things they're hiding. Hey, if you want to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. And texting, texting is easier for you. Or you just feel more comfortable texting, 316 518 Four three seven seven. My name is Jeremiah. I'm the owner. You now have my cell phone number. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give me the owner's to give you the owner's cell phone number. Ask them and see what they say. So if you're like me and you're sick of being just a number, uh, getting put on hold or talking to a computer, ending up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back, then reach out to me. Reach out to the owner. Let me personally take care of all your needs. And if you do want to call the competition and talk to a used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask you if you're ready to make a deal, you go right on ahead and you enjoy that. If you want absolutely no pressure sales, I'm just here to give you information to let you make the best decision for you. Call me. That's why I'm here. And I, as you see, when I came in, I gave it a nice hard break. No grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibrations. So again, exactly what we're looking for. And yes, we do have financing available. We can send, oh, I'm sorry, on a van this age, we do not, we do not have financing available. So you'd have to go through your own uh, personal bank, take out a personal loan, pay with a credit card or cash, most likely. Uh, we do take trade-ins though, even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicle, call me, I can explain how that works. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports and dozens of pictures so you know exactly what you're getting, no surprises, check out our inventory 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for choosing, checking out affordable mobility solutions where mobility is affordable. Call us today.